as you can see, I left my boat at home and I filled up my bucket with just some essentials. And we're gonna go attempt to catch some crappie from the bank today. Um, it's gonna be tough, but I think it could be done. And I'm gonna go over a couple things that, that really help, uh, help me locate these fish from the bank, which is not easy, but it can be done if you know these uh, few things to look for. So let's see. Look at all the zebra mussels right here. Tell me they weren't bad this year. Worst I've seen them. All right, y'all, we're gonna attempt to get some shad real quick, so let's see if we can get some. No shad, so we're just gonna jig these fish real quick. All right, you guys, so the original plan was to use some shad, but can't catch any, so we're just gonna jig these fish, hopefully. Hope y'all can hear me good, but I got an eight foot uh, buck super stiff crappie rod right here by b &Ms. Really good, I like this rod a lot for casting, and I just got a little slip cork set up right here little bobber stock. What I'm gonna have to do is I got this rigged up for a minnow, so I'm gonna take this off and throw a jig on there. I might actually throw two jigs on there too to kind of help, you know, get more of a depth cover going on. Get two different depths. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'll take a couple Camel's custom hand ties. These right here are the two jigs we're gonna use. Really good jigs. I'll be sure to check Camo out, man. He's he's a really good guy and makes some great jigs. So tell him kids sent you too. He'll he'll take care of you. And so I'm gonna tie this first one on with a Palomar knot. That way it doesn't catch on this slip cork. If I use a loop knot on this one, it'll catch. And uh, okay, there's the first jig. Here's the second. The second one I'm going to tie with a loop knot. It doesn't matter on the second one. About that far apart. And that's the setup. So we're going to get over here. I don't like filming like this with y'all sitting and, and looking at my back, but right here I really don't have a choice. So we're going to get over here and see if we can catch a couple fish. It might take me a little bit to get dialed in, but we're going to give it all we got. So y'all bear with me. Forgot to mention, so there, there's two, there's two real, real big keys on on finding crappie from the bank like this. Um, you got to have depth that comes in close enough to shore, and you got to have cover. So it just so happens right here, there's a little bit of cover out here. It's in like 20 foot of water, but it's close enough into the shore that I can get to it. I think, especially with the wind blowing. Um, so yeah, those two things really, really, I mean, honestly, make all the difference in the world. So. Let's get over here and see if we can catch a couple on film for y'all. First thing I'm going to do is try to make sure this bobber's going to sit right with these two jigs on here. y'all so i don't think this is sinking quick enough and getting right so i'm going to add a little split shot to it all right so i don't have a split shot but i'm going to use this little jig head right here same deal i'm just going to put it on there with the palomar knot i'm actually just going to kind of thread it on there it doesn't really matter there we go so let's see if that makes a difference All right, it's working now. So I'm gonna get over here and I'm gonna show you a trick that I'm gonna use to kind of help locate this cover real quick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to cast out here with this hook and see if I can hang this cover. That's gonna help me locate this and know where I need to fish. Super, super critical.
Well, that didn't work. So we're just gonna start fishing. I mean, eventually I think I'll run across the top of that cover. So let's just get over here and start casting around and eventually we will, will run across it. So, all right. So I know the top of this cover should be in like 15 foot or so. So what I'm gonna do is measure out 15 foot and we're just gonna go from there. Um, obviously if I hang it with this setup, then I know where it's at. Um, but also too, if I catch a fish, then I kind of know, you know, as well. So, so I'm gonna drop this down 15 foot and we're gonna start fishing. So this is an eight foot rod, and so that's about, about 10 foot. And then here's another, we'll do about five foot, about 15 foot. Cinch down that bobber stop, and we're just gonna start fishing. re-rig real quick like I said I'm gonna also go ahead and put a new bobber stop on this one's kind of moving around too much on me so I'm just gonna thread this one off and put a new one on bobber stop just gonna thread it on I'll fix the depth a little bit later but I just want to kind of get it on there and get it up probably as far as I can at least I see that's pretty good just thread it off take this little insert put it over here in the trash tighten it down tag end off here in a bit but and then I just got a regular cigar slip float just like this I really really like these an eighth ounce egg sinker just like if I was Minnow fishing. Thread it on there three times. And then I'm going to put a 16th ounce jig below it. Another Camel's custom hand tie. And uh, we're just going to use it that way. That way, if I get hung up, it's only one jig. There's not two chances to hang up. And I'm going to put a loop knot. Just like that. And so now, now that I, the main thing is, is finding where that brush is. And so I feel like now we're a lot more set up to catch a fish or two. So what I'm going to do is cut the tag, tag ends off of this uh, bobber stop right here. Just because it will catch when it's going to the guides if it's super, super long. Okay. There we go. So let's get set back up over here and see if we can catch the fish finally. All right, jig and bobber from the bank fail. Um, I did not get a single fish today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty frustrated. Uh, but this this bank stuff is, is not easy right now. It's it's super super difficult, and you know for good reason. I'm, yeah, it's it's tough. Um, you know I I know this brush pile right here very very well. I know how it looks. I know about how far I catch fish on it. I know about where it sits. I hung up in it twice and I still could not catch a fish in it. And that could be several reasons. The fish aren't there, which sometimes they're here, sometimes they're not. It's not an every time I go there type thing, they're there. Um, presentation as well. You can see there's a pretty good you know, ripple on the water and sometimes crappie are weird. They don't want that bobber moving up and down too much. And you know, these are not excuses, these are just facts. These are, could be some of the reasons that I, I struggled today. And so, you know, whether it's the, the ripple on the water, I changed depths multiple times. 
I got hung up and just come right above the brush like you know usually work especially in the creeks and stuff like that and could be too these bites have been so so soft that maybe I didn't even know I got bit you know it, it really could be a multitude of factors but so yeah you guys so if you're looking to try this from, from the bank yourself um, it really helps to have a boat um, you don't have to have a boat but what you want to do is pull out a map and kind of see where a creek channel or, or a deeper edge comes close to shore um, especially if there's like a cliff or it's a steep steep drop um, those are key areas and then you got to find you know you can have rocks um, brush piles stumps you know usually anything like that will hold fish and there's are there are times when they're just fish out there just hanging around swimming around you know it just depends on the ledge but get out there um, you know know that you're gonna have some struggles um, I struggled today did not get it done but I still want to post this to kind of show you you know that it's difficult and so if you're out there trying and you're having the same difficulties don't give up don't give up you will eventually get into them and it'll make it all the world all worthwhile so hope y'all enjoy if y'all could subscribe that really helps me out and thanks we'll catch you guys in the next one y'all take it easy